He was by far the most brilliant politician Kenya has ever produced. At the young age of 30, he had made it to the cover of Time magazine as one of Africa's brightest political stars. Tom Joseph Mboya was born on August 15, 1930. His parents, Leonard Ndiege and Marcella Awar, sent him to Gaba Primary School near Thika, where his father was working as a labourer for a European farmer. In 1942, Mboya was transferred to St. Mary's Yala in central Nyanza and then moved to the Holy Ghost College Mangu, then the leading boarding Roman Catholic high school in the country. Mboya was at Mangu for only two years before he left in 1948 to join the Vocational Training Institute Jean School at Kabete. Soon after graduating from Jean School, he was employed by the Nairobi Municipal Council as a sanitary inspector. Not long after he joined the Nairobi Municipal Council, Mboya quit his job to go into politics and trade union activities. He was among those who moved in to fill the vacuum after Jomo Kenyatta and other Kenya African Union cow leaders were arrested on October 22, 1952, jailed and later detained by the colonial government for supporting the Mau Mau rebellion against British rule in Kenya. Mboya served as cow's director of information until the colonial government banned cow in June 1953. That would force Mboya to concentrate his efforts on trade union activities. By 1955, he had risen to be Secretary General of the Kenya Federation of Labour, the umbrella organisation for the country's trade unions. By then too, the British had put down the Mau Mau rebellion and had started relaxing some of the restrictions on African political activity in the country. For the first time, Africans were allowed to vie for seats in Kenya's hitherto white settler-dominated Legislative Council, or LegCo. Mboya would be one of eight African leaders who were elected to the LegCo in 1957, after easily winning the Nairobi East constituency seat. His election to the LegCo and his leading role in Kenya's trade union activities made Mboya a national leader. In 1959, with the help of American trade union and political leaders, he organized what came to be known as the Student Airlift that sent nearly 300 Kenyans for university education in the U.S. Among those who benefited from Boyer's efforts were future Nobel Prize winner Wangari Mavai and Barack Obama, future father of the 44th President of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama. The following year, Mboya would join other leaders to set up a new national political party, the Kenya African National Union, KANU. James Kishuru was elected president on condition that he would step down for Kenyatta after Kenyatta was released from detention. Mboya became KANU's secretary general. A rival party, the Kenya African Democratic Party, KADU, would be formed soon afterwards, with Ronald Ngala as president. In the next general election that was held in February 1961, Kanu emerged victorious, winning 19 of the 33 seats to Kadu's 11. Mboya easily won in the new constituency of Nairobi East. Kenyatta and his co-detainees were released in August that year, and soon thereafter, Kenyatta took over from Gishuru as president of Kanu. In February 1962, he would lead his party's delegation, including Boyer, to the Second Constitutional Conference at Lancaster House, London, where it was agreed that a transition kanu kadu coalition government, led by Kenyatta and Ngala, would be set up, and a general election would be held in May 1963, before Kenya became independent of British rule on December 12th that year. In the transition government, Mboya was appointed Minister for Labour. In the May 1963 general election, Mboya was elected MP of Kamukunji in Nairobi. Elsewhere, Kanu had a resounding victory, winning 83 of the 124 seats in the House of Representatives. On June 1st, Kenyatta became Prime Minister for Kenya. 
In the government that he formed, he appointed Mboya Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs.